Okay, so welcome back. And so now what we're going to talk about is how do we determine the appropriate approximation when we're multiplying or dividing, when we're trying to find a product or a quotient of measurements. Okay, so in this it's a little different than what we did with the adding and subtracting. It deals with significant digits instead of the precision. Okay, so to determine the appropriate approximation when you're adding or when you're multiplying or dividing um, measurements, okay, first of all, same thing applies. You have to have the same common unit, right? You have to have common units, so change the common units if necessary. Then what you're going to do is then you just multiply or divide the measurements, whatever the operation calls for. And then two, round the product or quotient to have the same number of significant digits as the measurement with the fewest number of significant digits. Okay, so whichever measurement has the fewest number of significant digits, that's, we want to make sure our quotient or our answer, right, the resulting measurement, the resulting calculation has the same number of um, significant digits. So that's what we'll, we'll round to whatever place value gives us that. Okay, so here's an example. So let's say we have these measurements, they're all in meters. Okay, so that's good. And so we want to multiply all of these measurements. And so we want to make sure that we put them in with the fewest significant digits. So again, we have to know how to calculate or how to find the number of significant digits, right? Well, here we have three significant digits here, right? So we start with the leftmost non-zero digit and we count through until we get to the last, right, the, the leftmost, or excuse me, the rightmost non-zero digit. So in this case, which would be five, and we count all everything in between two, with even zeros. So this is one, two, three. So there are three significant digits here. Here, there are only two, right? Because here's the first non-zero digit, here's the last non-zero digit, so there's only two. Here, we only have one. Okay, so in this case, our answer is going to be um, rounded. We're going to make sure that it has one, one significant digit. Okay, so I'll show you how, how that's done. So if we multiply those together in our calculator, we get 787,500. cubic meters, okay? So that's the volume. So now since we only hit, so since the, the, the measurement with the fewest number of significant digits only has one significant digit, then we would have to round this to one significant digit. Well, one significant digit would be all the way here, okay? So to have one significant digit, we would have to have this be the only non-zero, right? The, the leftmost non-zero digit is what we have to round to. And so that means we would have to round everything so that everything to the uh, left, or excuse me, to the right is zero, okay? So that means this would be rounded to approximately 800,000 cubic meters. Okay, and that would be the appropriate approximation for this case. And that's it. See you next time.